Meet Small Mouth Sonny of Bass Island Bar. He's a real good swimmer, fast and sleek, who can swim the river and far up creeks. He can jump, dive and dash, wiggle and thrash. None can catch him, cause he is way too fast. Not long ago, one stormy spring day, he was small fry Sonny, who had lost his way. The river ran fast and strong that day, and small fry Sonny was carried away. He tried hard to swim, but there was really no way. When small fry Sonny finally came to a stop, he saw Karen and Aaron, two great blue herons. Herons eat fish, bugs, and wild critters that live in the waters of nice, clean rivers. With long, sharp beaks, they catch crayfish or snakes in the blink of an eye, for goodness sakes. When Aaron the Heron saw small Fry Sonny swimming in the shallow water, he squawked to Karen, I can catch this little fish somehow, and I'm ready to do it right about now. Then there was a loud noise, crack, said Karen in a very loud voice. Hey, Aaron, stop stalking that poor little fish. That is Small Fry Sonny from Bass Island Bar. I think we should help him find his way home so he need not swim there all alone. Aaron replied, All right, Karen, if that is your wish, we can do something nice for this little lost fish. Let's take Sonny to meet Beaver Bob who has built a nice lodge and done a fine job. There, Sonny can rest and learn how far he needs to swim home to Bass Island Bar. Small Fry Sonny liked Beaver Bob, so he stayed a while in his fine beaver lodge, wondering how far he needed to swim to get back home to Bass Island Bar. Beaver Bob suggested Small Fry Sonny should swim upstream to find Crayfish Ray, it would seem, would know the way and just how far he needed to swim back to Bass Island Bar. Crayfish Ray was cheerful and kind and already knew what was on Sonny's mind, how to get back to Bass Island Bar way upstream and still quite far. So Ray taught Sonny all that he knows about swimming backwards wherever he goes. Do you think swimming backwards could help small fry Sonny get back home? Nah, but it might be fun. Then small fry Sonny swam upstream to meet Myrtle the turtle. Myrtle can swim while she breathes fresh air. She can climb out of water and see everywhere. She can slip down under to check out the fishes and watch all the critters wherever she wishes. Since Myrtle knows birds can dive into water, she warns Sonny to watch out for trouble. From birds that fly high then dive down below, where Sonny was heading and likely would go. Like Kelly Kingfisher. Kelly Kingfisher is sometimes kind, but often she's hungry with fish on her mind. A skilled bird of prey, she dives into streams to catch fine fish, frogs, or minnows, it seems, or even a snake, for goodness sake. Kelly sat on the branch of a tree, looking downstream hungrily. So Karen and Aaron flew toward Kelly, near her face and right at her belly. A small fry sunny swam very fast, beyond Kelly's view to safety at last. Then Aaron said, Now we should visit Omar the Gar to help us determine where we are and about how far back to Bass Island Bar. Omar the Gar is from a family of fish that can breathe air or water whenever they wish. With his nose pointing up, he can breathe air at will while in deeper water use only his gills. Hey, Omar, Karen asked, can you tell us where we are and about how far to Bass Island Bar? Sure, said Omar. 
We're on the Little Miami River near Horseshoe Bend, not so far from Bass Island Bar. Three more miles and you come to the end of a long straight stretch near a big wide bend and there you are, Bass Island Bar. The sun was setting, it would be dark soon, but the bright full moon lit up the way. As he moved upstream, he continued to swim, but then noticed stones moving all around him. Karen and Aaron flew down for a closer look. Karen said, why there's Russell the Mussel, cleaner of rivers, streams, and brooks. Russell the Mussel spoke up. Though some believe we are stones, it would seem we mussels are key to the health of all streams. We take from the water the food that we need, then return it to streams much cleaner indeed. Sonny was tired and dozed off to sleep and dreamed of his friends back at Bass Island Bar, such as Arthur the darter, who loves fast water, hides behind rocks from Olga the otter, Jake the snake, who curls in the sun to warm up his body ready for fun. Winston the sculpin, a very small fish, darted and swam wherever he wished. Bob the beaver loves chewing trees, topples them down with surprising ease. Chuck the buck, a handsome young deer, whose horns stand up tall as his ears. Helga the Helgramite, an ugly bug no one would hug, to our delight soon takes flight as a beautiful Dobson fly. Eric the eagle, handsome and tall, surely must be most regal of all. Early next morning, small fry Sonny heard sounds of Bass Island Bar. He knew right away it was not very far. He was so happy he jumped in the air, then swam back and forth looking everywhere. As one by one they came into sight, all of his friends he had dreamed of last night. He was no longer small fry Sonny, no longer a fish so helpless and funny. With help from his friends, he had journeyed quite far to become small mouth Sonny of Bass Island Bar. There was no other fish on par with small mouth Sonny of Bass Island Bar. <laughs> <laughs>